Our RCP is based on the new Arduino Shield Blackmagic released this summer and uh, it's an awesome little piece of hardware. We love it a lot and we have uh, even more projects than this one in the pipeline using it but it's really an obvious pick for an RCP. And how does that work exactly? Well, it's kind of easy. So you can see we have a Blackmagic Micro Studio camera here. We have a uh, SDI cable going to the SDI input on the camera. And this cable goes into the RCP's output. And this output comes from the Blackmagic Arduino Shield. It doesn't even need an input as long as the shield is configured to provide the correct video frame rate. It's something you do with USB. Um, otherwise, as far as I remember from the documentation, uh, you provide an input here. And in particular, if you work with uh, like an Ursa Mini or a um, normal Blackmagic Studio camera, which has a display, you want this signal to carry something useful, which you can uh, useful in the sense that you can you can uh, watch it and, and see a useful picture, like uh, the program output or your own picture. Um, but in this case, we are uh, all, all we need is just a carrier signal to uh, transmit data to the camera. So this is how it's configured right now. As I pull the handle, you can see on the output from the camera, I'm adjusting the iris. Uh, I can adjust the, the master black as well, like that. But the RCP also works with an ATEM switcher if for some reason that would be your preferred workflow. And um, that is based on the ATEM protocol we have been using for quite some time. Actually, like I think like one and a half year we have had CCU uh, control units um, that would work with Blackmagic's cameras um, over the ATEM switcher. So. In order to do this, we have created two presets in this RCP. And uh, if I power cycle the device and turn it on, I can change to a different preset by holding this button. And now the unit will actually boot up and try to adjust the camera through the ATEM switcher instead. So let's see if it works. And as, as you can see, it doesn't, because the camera does not receive any information about CCU data from the shield anymore. It should receive them from the ATEM switcher. So what I need to do is simply to unplug this cable, which was the SDI return feed to the camera. And then I need to plug it in to, I think, this cable should come from my ATEM switcher. And as I now connect these two, oh, and there you see, something happened. Okay, so now obviously the camera receives CCU data from the ATEM switch instead. And all the knobs we have on the panel here reflects that. Um, Currently, the saturation is uh, down to almost nothing, so I'm just adjusting the saturation. And um, I could adjust the white balance a little bit. And I think the master black needs to change too. Okay, like that. So, the RCP can work both with the shield and the ATEM switcher. All thanks to the um, configuration interface which is inherent in the RCP. And if you want to know how you set up these presets, let's go to the interface. So um, right here, you see the web interface for the RCP. It looks like this. On top, you see a graphical representation of the RCP. Then you have configuration of all the interface components. And in the bottom, you can see device settings, like what is the IP address of the RCP, um, the ATEM switch IP address, in this case, you can see both the ATEM and the Blackmagic uh, camera control is enabled. Smart scope and video hub could, could be enabled. If I wanted to use a video hub, I would need to put in the IP address here. Then we have something called states, which we'll not cover right now. And then down here, presets, you can see we have two presets. The one is ATEM, the other one is shield. 
And the, the preset we started out with in this video was the one for the shield. So let's uh, click one of these encoder buttons. Oh, no, wait, let's take the iris handle. Okay, the iris handle, I press the iris handle here, and you can see that what it does is, in this case, it's um, changing the iris by communicating through the Blackmagic camera control protocol. So, um, what I'm going to do now is to press and hold the reset button here, which brings the device into configuration mode as soon as the LED is lighting up blue. And there we go. Okay, so the device is in configuration mode. You can see this place uh, full of cool fancy stuff. We can see what is the IP address in configuration mode. Uh, by the way, you don't need to connect it to a network for Blackmagic uh, for operation through the Blackmagic Arduino Shield because that's 100% uh, over SDI. Um, so it doesn't require network for operation. But for configuration, we always use Ethernet. So at least this is why we now need to go to this web uh, to the IP address and uh, reload the interface. So. When you go to the bottom under preset, you can see the current preset is ATEM. And let's go back to the iris handle. The iris handle, click. And now you see in this preset, the iris handle is set up to communicate through the ATEM switcher and not the Blackmagic camera control protocol. Changing between these two would simply be a matter of, of, of selecting this one instead and then saving. And then we would be communicating through uh, the, um, the shield. But obviously we uh, have here configured it so that the whole RCP works through the ATEM switch in this setup. But if we change the preset, it's configured to work with the shield. So that also gives you an idea about how you can have multiple presets in the unit. And the idea of multiple presets is that a Skahoy device can be moved from one context to a different context and all the settings can be different very, very easily uh, without having to load the web interface. You can just push a button when you boot the unit. And that is like generally how all our units are working. So we are using the same software as we um, uh, have in uh, all our other products. And uh, just before we sh shut the video down, uh, take a look at this cool test routine that's running. It's clearly designed to confuse the unexpecting user who booted it into configuration mode. So uh, you can expect some support calls when you see this <laughs> blinking on your set. Anyway, thanks for watching um, and support the campaign.